Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very fresh. I'm very fresh. <laughs> oh, okay. I took a shower before the class. That's why. And you, how are you? I am fine. You are fine. Am. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, tomorrow you're going to have a day off. You will have vacation. <laughs> So there's no class tomorrow, right? <laughs> okay, well, guys, um, today we're going to have our class number 10. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. Hey, I'm going everyone. <laughs> and everyone, yes. I'm going to share with you the class presentation for this evening's class. Um, the topic of our class number 11, sorry, it's not 10, it's number 11. No, it's number 10, right? Our class number 10. It's about uh, making plans for the future, right? It's making plans for the future. So in a moment, you will see the presentation that I have prepared for this class. Mm -hmm. So making future plans. You were asking about this a couple of days ago for the exercises you were working on in the platform. But in this conversation, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans. Future with present continues and be going to are introduced. By the end of this lesson, you will have learned how to use future with the present continues and be going to. So we can talk about the future using the perfect continuous and also using I am going to or he is going to, right? Be going to. And the infinitive form of the verb. Okay, so we have first activity one, recalling previous class. Then we have making future plans. We're going to have some practice and wrap up. Do you remember the topic of the last class? <coughs> Do you remember the topic? We learned a certain type of questions. Yes, teacher. Describing places around the world. Describing places. And also we learned some questions. About um, the usage of how. Yes, questions using how. Okay, so how we're going plus adjectives. To... Exactly, how plus an adjective. We are going to have some practice, some exercises with questions with how to see if you remember how to make, how to use it. So first here we have, well, I think Gonna change. We're gonna have this one first. How questions? So here we are going to shuffle. Okay, so look at this picture. Can you tell me what could be the question with how? Any idea? Okay, let's shuffle again. Let's choose another one. Maybe another one could be easier. <laughs> it's the same. Okay, this one, it says distance from one point to another. What is the question that we ask for distance? How far? How far exactly? We're going to flip. Yes, that's correct, Milagro. How far? Okay. We're going to eliminate. <laughs> Very good. We're going to shuffle again. And let's see, we have now another one. Okay, for the example, this one, the red color. Hot tub. Hot tub. Let's flip. 
Yes, that's correct, Juan David. How tall? Okay, what about this one? This is the if and how high. Oh, how? Let's see. That's correct. How tall or how high? Could be both ways. You can say how high or how tall. Very good, Anna. Thank you for your participation. Okay, what about this blue one? That is a snow. Yes, it's a snow. Oh, cool. How cool. How yeah, cool. Let's, let's see. Yeah, that's correct. How cold is Alaska? How cold is El Pital? How is the weather in Alaska? <laughs> How's the weather? It's very cold. How cold is it? In huh? Alaska. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, we still have four more. What about this one? Oops, what happened? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what about this one? How long? Mm, no, no. How big? How big? Let's try. Let's see if it's how big. It's correct. How big? Very nice. Okay, what about the mountain? How oh, high? How oh, high? Yes, that's correct. Wow, you really paid attention to the previous class. This is a valley. How, How deep? How deep is your love? Yeah, that's correct. And now, this one. How dry? <laughs> David says, How dry? Any other idea? Oh. Yes, Stephanie? How deep? Mm, the valley is how deep because the valley is like deep mm -hmm. in the valley oh, between the mountains. How oh, hot? How oh, hot? Okay, let's see. It looks like a desert. And that's correct. Mm -hmm. ha -ha. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. And now we're we have another one. Um, we have here a spinning wheel, and I need one volunteer. Who wants to start? Only one to start. One volunteer. Milagro. Okay, Milagro. It's very great. Okay, next is finished, and let's see the question is for you, Milagro. Again, how high is your wardrobe or closet? How high is your wardrobe? Um, how high? I'm not really sure. Um, Any an idea? I have not the ma the measure of my wardrobe teacher. <laughs> but maybe an idea. I don't have the exact measurement, but I think my wardrobe is like two meters and thirty two meters. Two thirty, maybe in my case, two thirty. Two meters and two, two and thirty centimeters. Including the mirror. Including the mirror. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's two meters. Okay. Thank you, mm -hmm. Milagro. Next person. Another person? I think Juan David wants to participate. I can see in his eyes. <laughs> okay, let's see, David. Sorry. And the question is, how far is your house from your work? Um, I work in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so the question is, how far is your bedroom from your work? 
<laughs> oh, it is, it is um, two meters. Two meters. Okay. okay. Wow. That happens. That happens to me too. Wow. <laughs> what do you do for living? <laughs> Okay, so maybe you can ask me later or you can ask him, right? <laughs> later. <laughs> yes, Ali, do you want to say something? Yeah. In my living, um... I mean, what do you do? What's your job? What do you do for living? <laughs> <laughs> I want a job like yours. <laughs> he wants to work from house, from home. Yes. Two meters far from the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, David David falls down from the bed and he gets to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So he wakes up five minutes before his his um work starts. <laughs> just kidding, David, just kidding. Okay. Um let's see who is the next person. Geraldine Villena, would you like to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see what is the question for you. And the question is, how cold is your city? Or maybe uh, you can say, how hot? Because we don't have cold cities here. How hot is your city? And this time is... 40, 40 degree. Wow, and where do you live, Geraldine? Um, Salvador, maybe, I think so. <laughs> do you live in San Miguel? No, 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 because and this year is very hot in the night. Yeah, it's very hot. Yeah, last night I couldn't sleep because it was very hot. <laughs> okay. This is my suppose. Oh, you are. This is like 40 degrees. I think it gets up to 32, 33, 34 degrees. Okay, thank you, Arlene. Any other person who wants to participate? Who wants to participate? Lorena, would you like to participate, Lorena de Najarro? Okay, teacher. Okay, Lorena, and the question for you is, how, yeah, long, how long does it take you to go to work by bus? Because we don't have okay. solways. We don't have solways in our country, but how long does it take you to go to work I mean, by bus? Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, one oh, hour, wow. 30 minutes. Or do you work at home? Like David? <laughs> yes, I work in my house. Oh, <laughs> but but uh, Maria Jose doesn't work at home, right? No. Okay. She's, no. Uh, yes, I, I work at home too, mom. <laughs> When she washes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I will change the question, Lorena. How long does it take you to go to the supermarket? Uh, how fast? The answer, the answer could be, it takes me, it takes me one hour, it takes me 15 minutes, it takes me five minutes. It takes me five minutes. Really? Wow. I, I wish I could have a near supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> but in my case, it takes me at least at least 20 minutes to get to the nearest supermarket. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lorena. Now, let's see who goes next. Another volunteer? Let's participate, guys. Bajo you. Who? Uh, 
Let's see, Sandra Asensio, would you like to participate? Yes. Okay, so the question for you is, how big is your house? How big is your house? Mm, my, my house is smaller. It's a small. You have a small yes. house. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, like ten meters square. Um. Eight meters. Twenty. Twenty for fifty or oh. twenty for guys. Long. Twenty five. Twenty five for for fifteen. Yes. Meters square. It's not that it's not that small. For <laughs> me, for me, for me, I, for I you see. It's yes. Small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for your participation, Sandra. We have three more participations. Juan Jose Garcia, are you there? Maybe not. Uh, Jacqueline Vanessa? Hi. Hello. Hello, Jacqueline. Okay, the question for you will be How long is your hair? Uh, my long hair is. Um, uh, no sé cómo podría decirlo eso. In centimeters, maybe? Ooh. I think my hair is like, I don't know, maybe 40 centimeters long. 60? 60 centimeters long. Wow, it's longer than mine. Yeah. Try, try for you. <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline. And we have two more. Oh, <laughs> we have the question, how deep is your love for your family? Wow, that is a question difficult to answer because we cannot measure love, right? I love my family to the infinite, to the infinite universe and more. <laughs> and the other question is, um, how long does it take you to go to work by car? Well, I work at home, so <laughs> I don't take the car <laughs> to go to my job. Good, very good. Thank you for your participations. It was like a practice using how long questions. Now, we, let's go over making plans for the future. The question is, are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow? I need two participants to read the conversation between Alicia and Mike. Two participants. Stephanie Quintanilla. And Geraldine. Okay, go ahead, light camera action. You start, Stephanie. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do you start, Stephanie? We don't hear you. We don't hear you very well, Stephanie. Can you maybe uh, get closer to the microphone? Stephanie? You listen. I don't know what happened to Stephanie. Hi, Miss. Hi, Stephanie. Okay, can you start the conversation, reading the conversation? Yes. Okay. Hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new coral exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me. But can I to have dinner with my parents? Oh. Well, maybe some another time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? 
We call Godem. Tomorrow, some fine. I have class until four. Let's go around five. Okay. After where maybe can get some dinner. Sound great. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that when you read a conversation or when you have a conversation with one, you don't sound like a robot, right? You sound very natural. But when you read a conversation, try to have to give it that sense too, right? Like the volume, the tone of voice, the, um, the enthusiasm. Okay. But thank you so much, Geraldine and Stephanie, for your participation. So what are they talking about? What is the, the topic of this conversation? What are they talking about? It's an invitation. Exactly, Alicia invites Mike, right, to see the new photo exhibit. And she asks, what are you doing tonight? And that is something that we usually ask in Spanish, right? Right? We, we do it when we may want to invite someone. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to see the new photo exhibit? Do you want to go eat some pupusas? Do you want to go and watch the new movie um, in the cinema? Um, anything, right? And I like this expression. Thanks so much for asking me. So look. This is an expression that we can use in our daily life. Thanks so much for asking, right? Thanks so much. Or thank you so much for asking me. In this case, she does she accept or decline the invitation? Decline invitation. She declined. She declined the invitation. Why? She have a dinner with your parents. With my parents? No. Uh, with him. him. With her parents, right? Yeah, she she oh, is going to have dinner with her parents, right? Her. She's going to have dinner with her parents. She's going to have dinner with her parents. I want to put it in red, yes. Okay, and as you notice, we are using the present continuous or the present progressive. I'm going to have dinner. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it's, it's going to. I'm going to. Well, maybe some other time. That is another expression that we can use when we talk. Oh, well, oh, well, um, maybe in some other time, okay? Another day. And then she asks a, a question in present continuous. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay, afterward, después de todo, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. That is another expression. Sounds great. So keep it in your pocket because we are gonna you later you will use these expressions in the conversations I will ask you to make. Okay? Or maybe you can take a screenshot of this conversation so you can have. Good, so the plans that they are making are in the past, in the present, or in the future? In the future. In the, future. the plans the future. are for the future. The plans are for the future. Good. So, talk Excuse about me. the future. Yes, Juan David? Cuando eh, se... Se usa la, 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 I am going to have, se puede traducir literalmente como voy a tener, 
o estoy te, o, o pienso o pienso tener. Ajá, voy a. I'm going to have. I'm going to be. Voy a hacer, voy a tener. And voy a leer, I'm going to read. Um, I'm going to cook, voy a cocinar. Yes, I'm going to. Okay, gracias. For making plans, meaning it's not only talking about the future, it's plans, plans. You, you have already made an arrangement, you have already made an arrangement or a plan uh, to make this, right? So when we have already had, when we have already planned, we use the present continuous or be going to. We can uh, use the present continuous, but uh, when we uh, use it, when we use the present continuous for the future, we need a future time expression. What are the future time expressions? Going to or will? Future time expressions. Mm, let's see. In this conversation, it says, what are you doing tonight? I'm going tonight. To party. Are you doing anything tomorrow? So what are the future time expressions? Tomorrow. tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow. tonight, okay. tonight. This weekend. Tomorrow, next week, next weekend, next month, next year, next Monday, uh, on Saturday, this afternoon, right? So those are future time expressions. They are very important when we use the present continuous for the future. That is the difference with the present continuous that we use in the present. For example, I am speaking right now. My husband is working right now. My mom is watching TV right now. My cat is sleeping right now or in this moment. So the present continuous for the present we use in the moment, right now, by now. But present continuous for the future, we use future time expressions like the ones I wrote here. Tonight, tomorrow, next week, next weekend, next month, next year, on Monday, on Saturday, this afternoon, etc. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a party. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. Why? And now we can use be going to. The verb to be, going to, and verb in infinitive or base form. What is she going to do tomorrow? What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to see a play. Are they going to see the photo activity? Yes, they are. They are going to see it. Right? So this is the bird to be plus going to. Uh, for example, with uh, the, we have the different subject pronouns. We have different subject pronouns. And with each subject pronoun, we have a corresponding verb to be. For example, with I is, I um. am, you, mm. you are, um. he, she is, he, is. she is, he is. If, Yes. yes. We are. are. And are. then are. are. Okay. And then we use them. Be uh, sorry. Going to. For all of them, we use going to. 
I am going to, you are going to, he's going to, she's going to, it is going to, we are going to, they are going to. And the complement, let's make these examples together. For example, I am going to attend. I am going to be cooking. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna write my example. I'm going to attend an important an important event tomorrow in the stadium. Okay, that's already a plan that I have for tomorrow. I'm going to attend an important event tomorrow in the stadium that I want to I couldn't I couldn't understand what you said David. Yes, what did you say David? Como dijo que era atender un asunto importante en el estadio mañana era la medalla de oro de los cangrejitos playeros de la selección ah. de playa. <laughs> Okay, I didn't say which stadium. <laughs> okay. And um, you are going to What are you going to do tomorrow? Bake a cake. Oh, okay. You're going to bake a cake. Okay, David, what are you going to do tomorrow? Sleeping all the day. Oh, because you're not working. You are not working. We are not working tomorrow. So he's no. David is going to, to remember using the two, to sleep all day long. Wow. Okay, Geraldine says that she's going to cook. She's going to cook the dinner after class. <laughs> okay, it is going to rain uh, later. It is going to rain later at night. Y para escribir nosotros no tendremos clase mañana. Ah, the negative. Yeah, we are, uh -huh. we are, we not, are going to, we are not. Um, we are not going to have class tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> we are not going to have class tomorrow. I'm going to bed tomorrow. I'm going to bed early. Yes, because I usually go to bed late because I teach at night. But tomorrow we are not going to have class, so I'm going to go to the bed early. And my students, they are not, <clears throat> they're not going to connect to the class tomorrow. Okay? So we just add not to make the negative. So don't forget, I am going to attend an important event. Sorry, I put here going to. <laughs> Stephanie wrote a joke in the chat. The usual life, she's going to the gym the next Monday, but Tomorrow is Monday, the next Monday. <laughs> okay, thank you, Stephanie. So that is the use of be going to and present continuous for the future. Ah, we have here the time expressions tonight, tomorrow, Friday, this week, and next week. Okay, do you have any other question? Or is it clear? Like Karao's use. Teacher, I have a question. What is your question? It is about it's about the conversation. Okay. Sorry, and, uh -huh. 
Let's go back to the conversation. In the second line, uh -huh, you want to go to see, we are not missing a, one tool. Oh. Thank you for pointing it out. Very good observation. This one. Uh -huh. Do you want to go see? To go see. Well, the expressions to go, um, you can use you can use it this way, but only only go. Mm -hmm. uh, in in speaking, when you speak, you can say, "Do you want mm -hmm. to go see the new photo?" The new photo exhibit. You can also say, "Do you want to go to see the new photo exhibit?" Which will be like, "Well, we know it's correct." But in this case, the expression is also possible. Do you want to go see, or do you want to go and see? Do you want to go eat out? Do you want to go and eat out? So it's like yes, instead yeah. of instead of and, it's like you could add an n here, uh -huh. but it's like missing in this. Okay. But, en ese caso se oye bien salvadorizado, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you want to go see? Or do you want to go? If I am. If it's like I am missing, missing in. Sorry? If I am talking, if I am speaking, I can say to go see. Or no. Yes, you can. It's mm -hmm. like but if I am writing. Yeah, informal writing is like no very common. This is common in speaking. Speaking conversation. Okay. It's like, it's like for example for going to you. Uh, some people pronounce it gonna or Maybe um, you have seen it in, uh, in, in lyrics for songs. Gonna, gonna. Gonna. Say like one, two, and people say one. But mm. this is, you can, yeah, you can say it like that, gonna, wanna. But in writing, formal writing, you have to use going to or want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Now, guys, let's complete the invitations in column A with the present continuous with the future and complete the responses in column B with B going to. So let's start with the column A. In column A, we are going to use present continuous as future. Okay, so number one, conversation one. What? Are you are, going? Are you doing? doing? What are you doing? Because we're using ah, present continuous. Doing. Yeah, it says here present mm. continuous use as future uh -huh. in column A. Uh -huh. What are you doing tonight? <coughs> Would you like to go out? Column B, we are going to use going to exactly. Column B. Mm -hmm. I am going to be. Huh? I am going to be. Okay, I'm going to be. Here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try to go on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, number, the like column A, number two. Are you doing? 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 Anything on Friday night? 
Do you want to see a movie? Do you want to see a movie? Number three, we. We are having. Having. We are having. We are having. We are having friends over for a barbecue on Saturday. On Sunday, we are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? And number four. Are you staying? Are you staying? Very good. Teacher, are you? How do you translate the? We are having. We are having. Friends. Friends over. Oh, oh, they all sentences. Oh. Ajá, tendremos, vendrán unos amigos. Like in, in the school, it will be like that. Tendremos amigos en casa o vendrán amigos a una barbacoa el domingo. Friends, having friends over. You say when, you're, when your friends go to your house. Having friends over. I'm having friends over. For the barbecue, we are going to grill some meat and sausages. Okay, are you going to stay? Are you staying? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Want to go for a hike? Okay, now let's continue with the going to. I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Well, my father is going to visit this going to be going to visit visit my brother at college, but my mother and I I'm going to be my mother and I I'm going are are, are yes. because it's we, right? My mother and I. It's we. We are. My mother and I are going to be. be. We are be. going to be. We are going to be home. We'd love to come. Let us see. Sorry, I can't. I can watch you. I am work. working. I am going, going to work. I'm going I to working. work. I'm going to work late tonight. How about tomorrow night? Letter D, can we go to a late show? I am I'm going to stay. To stay. I'm going to stay. Exactly. I am going to stay uh, at the office till seven. Mm -hmm. Great job. Very good. Wow, Alejandro, congratulations. You you have a baby now. Is it your first baby? Is this your, your first baby, Alejandro? Uh, oh, wow, congratulations. <laughs> I'm reading the messages in the chat. <laughs> Alejandro got his first baby. Born. Is it uh, it's a boy? Is it a boy or a girl? Alejandro, I understand it's a boy. Uh, congratulations. Everybody goes on. <laughs> oh, okay. A boy. Hmm. And what, what is his name, Alejandro? Like his father? <laughs> Let's see, Alejandro is answering. Junior, <laughs> Alejandro Junior. <laughs> okay, thanks for sharing. Let's see what is next. Here, guys, we have some uh, vocabulary for free time activities and events. Free time activities and events. Okay, you will complete the chart with words and phrases from the list. Then add one more example to each category. So you will help me to complete. Let's see, sports and games. What activities do we have here? 
We have a rock concert, a barbecue, a wedding, a hip hop dance performance. A soccer game. Oh, soccer okay. game. Okay. 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 Video game. A soccer game. A sports and games. A video game tournament. A baseball. A video game tournament. A race. A baseball what? A baseball game. Car race. And a car race. Mm, I can't raise. Okay, what about friends and family? Activities that we do with our friends and family. A barbecue. Mm, barbecue. barbecue, yeah. Everybody. Family loves to do that. A, a barbecue. A wedding. A wedding, a wedding. yes. A wedding. A birthday party. A birthday party. A, a baby shower for Alejandro. A class reunion. Okay, a class reunion, the prom, right? Generation 2001, <laughs> just kidding. A, la a class reunion. <laughs> okay, what about art and performance? A musical? A dance to A film festival? A festival. A hip hop. Hip hop dance. And performance. A rock, con rock concert? A rock concert, okay. a musical, a musical, hip hop dance performance, a film festival, okay, a film festival, and a rock concert, or a salsa concert, a reggaeton concert, um, I don't know, jazz concert, etc. A cumbia concert. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. Do you have any new words here? Or no new vocabulary? It's just review. Okay, now pay attention to the next slide. We are going to have a role play. Um, accept or refuse. This role play, uh, you can accept the invitation or you can refuse or decline the invitation. So you will choose an activity from exercise four or any other event and invite a partner to go with you. Be ready to say where and when the activity is. Where and when. So pay attention to that. Where and when. Um, for example, so are you doing anything on Monday or are you doing any are you doing anything tomorrow that is day off? Would you like to? So your partner invites you out, you can either accept the invitation and ask for more information or say you can't go and give an excuse. When you accept, you say, okay, that sounds fun, that sounds interesting, that sounds great, that's a good idea, where is it, when is it, you ask for more information when you accept an invitation. But when you refuse or you decline an invitation, you give an excuse. You say, oh, I'm sorry, but I can't, I'm going to work, I'm going to visit my family, I'm going to study for an exam, uh, I'm going to see the doctor, I don't know, whatever thing. In this article, we have that, how to decline an invitation politely. I need somebody to read, to read the first part. Somebody who can help me? Maybe you should. Okay, Anna. A friend has invited you go you to go out, but you can make follow our advice and learn how you can decline an invitation or politely and keep your friend. Exactly. 
So when you want to decline an invitation, you, you don't say like very direct, no. You make an excuse, right? <laughs> you do it uh, politely. So your friend or the person doesn't get hurt, right? Or offended. So you you uh, let's learn how you can decline an, an invitation politely and keep your friend. Don't lose your friend. For example, you can say, thanks so much for asking me. It sounds like a lot of fun. Or thanks so much for the invite. To apologize and explain why you can't accept, you can say, sorry, but I already have plans. Sorry, but I have something else going on today. I'm so sorry, but I can't make it. I'm really busy this day. To offer another time to do something together, you can say, this week is crazy, but let's shoot for next week. So that is an expression you can say. This week is crazy. It's like you're very busy. But let's shoot or let's plan it for next week. Maybe another time? I'm free next week. Can I take a rain check? A rain check is like uh, that you can do it, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. So um, you can maybe take a screenshot or maybe I can send you a picture of this information. How do you teach her? Uh, how do you teach her translate? Uh, can I take a rain shake? Well, it's an expression. I think we don't have. Do we have an expression in Spanish similar? I don't think so. <coughs> it's like, lo, lo dejamos para otro día? Okay, teacher. Hmm? It's like there is no like a exact translation. It's like you cannot accept the invitation, but you would like to do to do something um another day. Hmm? Okay, so I hope um I'm gonna send you right. I'm gonna send you. I'm going to send you. I'm looking for the group it's here. This information so you can have it. This is going to help you for the homework. As I told you, the homework will be this one, the role play. Well, because we don't have more time to go to break up rooms and choose a partner, I we are gonna do it individually. Okay, you are going to create the conversation individually and you will send it in the WhatsApp group, okay? You will have a long weekend to do the homework. A long, long weekend to do the homework, okay? <laughs> You're gonna start now. You're gonna start right now creating. Oh, I will send you a picture of the conversation that we have at the beginning so you can have also an idea on how to make it. And in a moment, I will take it in them because I haven't taken. <laughs> so you can start, guys, making the conversation and right now I'm going to take the attendance. So please be ready to say present or here. Just let me look for the, uh, the list. Okay, let's start with Aleida Samira Guadalupe Melga. Is she in the class? <laughs> Thank you. Ana Beatriz Martinez. Uh, hello, teacher. <laughs> Andrea Espera Costa. Andrea Este. Brandon Steven Gomez. Present teacher. Caleb Ariel. 
Caleb, Ariel Rivera, Efraín Emilio Acevedo, Efraín Emilio, is he in the chat? Yes. <laughs> um, Geraldine Lisset. Present teacher. Hebel Virginia. Virginia Tobar. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Ingrid Maricela Flores. En el chat, teacher. Thank you. Irma Adriana Segura. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa García Sánchez. José Alejandro Vaquerano. José ah, Alejandro Sánchez. Ok. Uh, Juan, the, the Happy Father. Juan David. Present teacher. Juan José García. I'm here, teacher. Julio César Alfaro. Julio César didn't connect today. Gavin Josías Flores. Present. Lorena de Los Ángeles. I think she was not in the class. No, nah, just kidding. Uh, Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. María José Navarro. Present teacher. Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Milagro de la Paz. I'm here. I think she's in a party. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Midnight and Orlando. Present teacher. Nelson, thank you. Nelson Adán Cerón. Patricia Esmeralda. Present, Miss. Sandra Elisa Veracencio. Present. Sandra Rivas Portillo. Present, teacher. Sandra Lisette Mosa. Present, teacher. Sandra, no, sorry. Stephanie Vigair Quintanilla. Thank you. Es Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Wow, we have a. Um, well, yeah, we have some absences. Good. So, did you start? Did you start creating the the conversation? You should. Don't forget. You have to create and make the conversation, and then send it in the WhatsApp group. You have Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the whole day to okay, make teacher. them send it, okay? Okay. Sandra Correa, no la mencioné. Oh, sorry for that. Let me check. Sandra Elizabeth Correa Quintanilla. <laughs> Present. I like that. You have to be attentive if I mention or not your name. Okay, class, can you tell me what did you learn in this class? What did you learn in the class today? Make the question and, and how can I answer in uh, future? How to accept an invitation and how to decline or refuse an invitation. Okay, and the grammar point, what was the grammar point today? The future going to? The future with be going to and also with present continuous. Present continuous. As future. Present continuous. Okay, class, it was good to see you. Um, it was a nice class. Thank you for your participation. And I will see you on Monday. Have a happy long day. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a nice weekend.
You too.